What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Bernie, Texas. This is their San Antonio location. This thing is super cool what you're looking at. This is the relatively high-end, super compact Pleasureway Tofino. This thing is just amazing. I saw this, I had to pull over and film it because I honestly think for a lot of folks who travel over the road and they just want a better way of doing it, this might be the perfect fit. And it comes in at a relatively affordable price. So I don't think you're gonna wanna miss this video. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so right off the bat, this thing rides on a Ram 1500 Pro Master chassis. It is a van style chassis, not a cutaway. So this is a B series RV. Super cool. It's got a bunk loft that pops up from the top of it. This thing is actually under $80,000. So typically whenever you see Pleasure Way, you automatically think $150,000, $200,000 units. So yeah, this one is under $80,000 and it's under 18 feet long. So you can negotiate this into areas that you just couldn't negotiate even other compact motorhomes. So definitely something I think a lot of people will like. Let's take a closer look around this unit. Okay, so from a chassis perspective, let's talk about the warranty. First of all, it's gonna come with a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. And then it's gonna have a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. The motor inside of this is gonna be a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6, which is a very common motor in many other Dodge vehicles, including the Durango. It's got running boards already on the side. This is also gonna have a solar package already prepped into it. You have your utility center right here, so you can make all your connections which is really your 30 amp, your gas on or off, and then your water connection. Hopping inside this really cool Class B. Again, this rides on a Dodge platform. A lot of visibility. So you get a tremendous amount of visibility in this unit. Around it, over the front. Plenty of room to get out of this area into the back as well. But check this thing out, this is super cool. If you are gonna be on a long road trip and you want something that can get you all around the country in comfort, this might be the perfect thing for you. You're gonna have your Dometic refrigerator right here. You have an induction cooktop up top. You have a really cool single basin sink right here. And check this out, I am currently in the popped up portion of the roof that gives you a bunk. So you have bunk space up here, which is super cool. You have little windows that can unzip and it's actually really quiet inside considering this is a fabric material. Nice space under the sink. You have your solar monitor right here, which is really nice. And then you have this awesome touchscreen panel which controls pretty much everything in the RV from your climate control to, I think, even putting up that top portion. This is really cool. I like to give you a telescoping ladder already in the back. You get netting for securing things in different areas. Back here, plenty of storage as well. And you could always carry like a cassette style toilet with you if you need to use something like this and you know you have to use a restroom. It gives you a lot of options and flexibility. Plus you have a, a nice long bench style seat here, which actually lays flat and turns into a bed. And check out all this room. Now, keep in mind that we are in a standard width van. This isn't a, you know, extra wide or cutaway chassis where you have all this extra width to it. And you have a tremendous amount of room in here. You know, if you have a family of five, you know, two adults, three kids in the back, this would be easily able to accommodate them. And again, you throw a cassette style toilet there in the back, you're even in better shape. You know, there's a lot of uh, folks that travel all over the country in vehicles like this. And these are really popular in Europe. And quite frankly, they offer you a lot for what they are. And to see a Pleasure Way product under 80 grand is very rare. So that's the other really important aspect of something like this is that you're getting a very well-built, high-quality product for an affordable price. 
definitely something that I could see traveling around in. And you know what? This might be something we need to consider to bring on the channel as a long time unit. Just something that we can take out, travel around and, you know, do so in comfort. If you have to stop and cook a meal or make a sandwich, you have the ability to pull into any gas station, you know, any parking lot and do it. You're not driving around in something that just looks like this incredibly huge RV and you can fit this just about anywhere. Like I said, the only thing that's essentially missing would be a cassette style toilet that you can take with you. And that's cool too. Again, very smart storage features in this coach. They have really nice blackout blinds as well. So you can black this thing out and not have any light come in if you want to sleep in. And I'm sure that collapsing ladder that we saw there in the back is to get you up here. Otherwise, you'll be stepping on this to climb up there, which is probably what I would do. But yeah, that is super cool, huh? I could totally see myself owning one of these. What are your thoughts? What would you guys like to see? Would you like to see me get one of these for the channel? Just to do like a long-term evaluation, maybe travel around in it? You know, the, the challenge is, is that we have a fifth wheel coming in too, and the fifth wheel is definitely more conducive to longer stays and being able to, you know, essentially take your house with you. This is just a really, really cool option, especially let's say you're going to travel to the Rockies or you're going to travel across the country and you don't want to take an RV because you're going to be staying somewhere when you get to where you're going and you just want the ability to have really, really comfortable accommodations in route so you don't have to stop all the time and walk into gas stations and, and do other things, especially in the environment we're living in now. Anyways, guys, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I thought this was super cool and figured you all might want to see it. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.